Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to set up out of office replies in Outlook 365 web app. This one's uh, like if you're going on vacation from work and you need to uh, make sure there's a automatic reply to anybody who emails you that tells them you're going to be out of the office and who to contact if it's an emergency. And this is going to show you how to do that on your web app. This is not your application on your computer. This one's on the web. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your Outlook web app, which is right here. I had to log into my Office 365. This is the way I go. Some people might have a different way to log into their Office or their Outlook 365, but this is the way I do it. So I went to officeportal.office.com. I logged in. Now I'm on this screen. Now I'm going to go to apps right here at the top. I'm going to click on Outlook. And then Outlook will open for me. This is my main Outlook account for my job. And it will be opening in just a moment. All right, now that we're in, once it finishes loading, we're going to look to the top right, right up here. And it's going to appear, there it is, the gear icon, which is for settings. So we're going to click on that. And then the settings menu right here on the side just popped up. So you're going to scroll down. Actually, you don't even have to scroll down. Just go to the very bottom here, and you'll see View All Outlook Settings. We're going to click on that one. All right, now that we're here, sometimes you appear, I've, I've appeared on general before. You don't want to be on general. You want to be on mail on this left side menu here. Make sure you're on mail. If you're on mail, then you want to look to this next menu right here, and you're going to go down to automatic replies. I'm going to click on that. Okay, and now this is where all the magic happens. You're going to want to turn it on because it won't work unless it's on, so you're going to turn it on. And there we go. Now I have some of my old settings in here, which is fine. Um, but the first thing you want to do is now the, the important thing is to make sure send replies only during a time period. I like to have that on, so I'm going to click that box. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set the date. So right here on start time, so when are you going to go on vacation? You can hit the little calendar and choose a date. So I'll say I'm going on vacation today. And you can also choose by clicking this little arrow, down arrow, the time you want the email to start, the auto replies to start. And I'll just leave it as it is. And then the end date, set that the same way with the time. And that's it. That's how you set the time for your um, when you want this to be running. So what you're going to look at right below that is they give you some options like block my calendar for this period, all this stuff. So you can look at this and see which boxes you want to check. I don't like, I didn't check any of the boxes. I didn't think they were that important. So you're going to go down here. And the first section here, this um, reply box is actually for your internal um, emails. So if like a coworker in your same job is emailing you, it will send them this reply. Now, for people who are outside your organiza organization, you want to go down to this checkbox and click it. And then now you want to, you can put anything. So you can have two different replies, one for the internal and one for the external. I left them the same since it's the same information, so I copied and pasted in there. So now that's going to be sent out if someone emails me from outside my organization, like my mom emails me, it's going to send her this. Now if someone in my office sends me an email, this is what they're going to get. So that's how easy it is to set this up. So if you can send replies only to your contact list, so if you have just you know want to do that, you can. You can go through here, but it's very simple to set up your automatic replies for when you go on vacation. And that's how easy it is to set up out-of-office replies in Outlook 365 web app. But the first thing I should have said was save it. Ah, see, some things you forget when you're trying to talk. <laughs> so make sure you hit save, because if you don't, it won't work. So hit save. And there it is. Now it's on. It just says right over here, please turn it off, because it's now saying it's in effect. Well, I don't want it on, so I'm going to hit the off switch right here at the top. And then you got to make sure you hit save again. And there you go. Now it's all done. Make sure to go to davescomputertips.com. That's where all of our articles are. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends about it. And thanks for watching.